one recommendation I would love to give to the team if they're if they're listening. Um, I actually think that they should uh, not expose a lot of the users to the Web3 uh, for the early part of the game. Uh, looking at the mechanics and the systems that they have, you don't actually have to have an NFT until you get to that abysmal gate uh, part of the game. And that doesn't come into play until they get to the 10th uh, zone of the first um, the first encounter area. Uh, and kind of looking through the gameplay, that's probably a four to five hour uh, time until you're actually at that level, depending on you know, how fast you play or um, you know, how many times you get your butt kicked like I did. Um, so I think until you actually get to the to that abysmal gate, which is the first point where you are really earning uh, any kind of revenue from the from the token and from the NFTs, I don't know if you really need to uh, to expose the users to your to the marketplace to make them connect a wallet to kind of go through all those friction points that you know really hamper a lot of that early user acquisition for Web three games. Yeah, I think they have a beautiful game. Uh, very good gameplay, and I think that they should get more people into the gameplay before kind of putting that friction point of connecting the wallet and getting them, um, you know, onto the to the marketplace. I don't know where your where your thoughts would be on that, Nick. Yeah, no, I'm I'm in complete agreement there. Um, I think pretty much the entire industry has has gotten on board with the idea that um, games need to be fun, number one, and Crazy. users shouldn't users shouldn't be um <laughs> fully aware of all the web3 things that more more of that's come yeah. where you don't want to create a, a friction point you want to get people into the game experience the game why the game is fun first um and that's kind of the free-to-play mentality right is you get into the game you start experiencing it you get hooked and then you start progressing through the meta game which is what then creates the bottlenecks for your progress and that's where the monetization opportunities are, where in, you know, when you create the bottle X. Uh, Absolutely. Yep. So, Rob, we're, we're totally one of them. Yeah. I mean, it's it, as a game developer, it is so, so incredibly hard to get users, you know, that, that funnel of user acquisition. Seriously. <laughs> that's a whole other topic. Um, but any, you know, getting the users into the game, anything you could do to avoid that friction is is going to be very important for you to lower that overall user acquisition cost and just get more engagement. So, you know, the way that they kind of set up their system, you have to connect your wallet uh, before you can even play the game. Uh, you have to go in, you download the game, you download the executable, and then you sign up for the email, you do a confirmation code. And that sounds very onerous, but that's actually the process. So, I mean, that's part of the problem. Um, and then after the confirmation, you connect to the wallet, connect your wallet to the marketplace, and then you get to play the game. And that's, uh, from a user experience point of view, that's terrible. So I'll be very negative there. Yeah.